magical. A dream. He's so he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. He's thinking about, well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. You already know that, see? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little second? Fernando Martinez, Exotic Marriage Guidance Made Easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man, like a half a man, a man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone, replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end, big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears... She is like a farmer, and now Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and... I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no-goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. Threaten the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. 
pick up the bomb I've hidden in hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. I've been having a passion all for yourself. This is Janice, you call me Cinco, 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 Nueve Dos, Nueve Dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out. Senor, not pimping. I say, I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we think this is very personal. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio. You Mr. Hooker on my tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... Uh, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, we're in Latin. I do... Milo! Milo! What did I do? about. Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please... Some insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it, and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Boros well in that wrath. Arriba! Take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. 
What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organized... Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. Yeah. 
All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. W- what about them? Close. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Hey, close, Laszlo. I hate him. I just hate him. I mean, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier podcast station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess a line has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it says you say a king, and therefore it can exercise the royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat. And therefore, it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can. But I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? You said you. I was born naked. I'm going to die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's sort of invigorating to feel the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I'm going to have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. What about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo, you can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual. Like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest growing U.S. run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gums. Show disrespect. I gotta go on vacation. Hey, don't like the daddy. 